Mommy, what's this? You can either be dating or married at 20. Oh, well, I want to be married. That's very young. I know, but I want to be just like Cinderella and marry my Prince Charming. I'm definitely going to have to set up an arranged marriage for her. Mommy, this just came on my finger and it's not coming off. That's what happens when you pick the married option. You may not remove the bandage until you turn 20 years old. Talk to any cute princess tonight? No, ever since this appeared on me, no princess will talk to me. Dang. They're probably just afraid of marriage. Yeah, I guess. If they won't talk to you, that's their loss. Thanks. Wait, you have one of these too? Oh, yeah. How did I never notice that? I guess since I'm a guard, you just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> you can remove your band-aid. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Happy birthday, you can take your band-aid off. I know, I'm so nervous. I can't wait to see what prints I get. Remember, it'll be their first initial. It's an S. But wait, I don't know any princes whose names start with the letter S. Good thing I made an arrangement. What kind of an arrangement? Marriage, of course. I found you a very handsome prince. Does his name start with the letter S? Well, no. Then he's not my soulmate. Happy birthday, Violet. What's wrong? My mom. She's forcing me to get married tomorrow. To someone who's not your soulmate? Yeah, Sam, maybe you can talk to her. She thinks really highly of you. I mean, I'm just a guard, but I'll see what I can do. Wait a minute. Sam? S? He could be my soulmate. Sorry, your mom didn't listen. Never mind that. Sam, when do you get to remove your bandage? Actually, my birthday is tomorrow. No, you need to remove it right now. Huh? Why right now? Because I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. I think you and I might be soulmates. No way. Please, just take off the bandage. Violet, I can't. It won't come off until I turn 20. All right, fine. But you better tell me first thing in the morning. I promise. I will. Your future husband has arrived. Actually, Mom, I really need to speak to Sam. Nonsense! You must not keep the prince waiting. Now come on. Hello, princess. Is that an S on your finger? Yes, it's the first letter of my soulmate's name. Well, just so you know, when we're married, I will have that removed. It's literally ingrained on my finger. Then I guess you'll be losing that finger. <gasps> Mom, I am not marrying that prince. He is evil. What? Your guard, Sam, he's... He's what? He's... Dead, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Sam can't be dead. I just talked to him the other day. I need to see him. The other guards found him unresponsive this morning. I'll take you to him, sweetheart. Sam. Please, give me a moment alone with him. Of course, Violet. Sam, how could this happen? He had a V. He was my soulmate. You were so nice to me. I will never forget you. Oh, darling, you look so beautiful. You did choose to get married at 20, and now you get to finally marry your prince. I don't care. Do you take Prince Daniel to be your husband? I... Violet, wait! Please, stop the wedding. Sam? You're alive? Yes, you, you won't believe what happened. Sam, you're alive? Yes, you you won't believe what happened. Your mom, she poisoned me with a sleeping potion. What? But somehow, the spell was broken. True love's kiss. Mom, how could you? I... You said you wanted to marry a prince. Oh, so you two were plotting together. Well, we couldn't let you marry that scum, now could we? See, the thing is, Daniel, I'd rather marry a guard than a selfish, cowardly prince. I was wrong, darling. Please forgive me. Then let me marry Sam. And maybe we can talk about forgiveness. Yes, Violet, you have my blessing. Well, then what about me? You? You wanted to have my finger removed. Oh, yes, I did say that. <laughs> did he really say that, Violet? You know, as the princess's guard, it's my job to protect her from harm. Oh, please, you don't scare me. <gasps> really? Because you look a little scared to me, Daniel. I suggest you run now. Y yes, sir. I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time. Violet, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I always had a feeling you and I were soulmates, Violet. Sorry you didn't get your Prince Charming. It's okay. I got something better. My best friend controls my bank account or my hand? Yeah, I don't need her making me go broke. She's out of town, so I wonder how this is going to work. Incoming call. Oh, it's her. Hey. Girl, I can see in here everything you do. You can? Yeah, this is so weird. Don't worry, I won't make you do anything bad. You may now begin your test. 
What are you doing? I swear, I'm not trying to do this. Maya, why would you do something like that? She knows. She knows. And I know she knows. And I know she knows. Revenge? For what? You need to see this. What is this? A picture of you and Maya's boyfriend, and it looks like you're holding hands. What? Yeah, it's been sent out to the whole school. Maya, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I can't believe her. I'm going to make her week a living hell. Maya, listen, I wasn't cheating with your boyfriend. I was just... Mm. I don't want to hear her excuses. I saw the photo. They were clearly holding hands. Are you okay? Mm. No, my best friend is controlling my hand today, and she's super mad at me. Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, can't say I disagree. Maya, if you would just let me explain... Excuse me, you need to pay attention. I take Jim very seriously. Of course, uh, so do I, coach. Are you mocking me, Miss Missouri? No, sir. <sighs> oh, you think you're funny, huh? Go run five laps. No, but I... Uh-uh-uh, don't want to hear it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, man... Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Here, you can have my water. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for the water. No problem. <gasps> what the? That's what you get for being a bad friend. Maya, all week you've been causing me trouble, and any time I try and explain what happened with your boyfriend, you... Mm. You do that. I don't care what you have to say anymore. I can't trust you. Oh, and I see her crush is coming near. Oh, no, Nate, Maya, please, I'm begging you, don't... Hey, uh, how are you doing? Good. Great, actually. Sweet. Well, you know, prom's coming up, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you... <gasps> Nate? She just knocked out Nate. No, no, I would never. My friend is controlling my hand. Principal's office now. Listen, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Great, they put handcuffs on her. Now I can't control her hand. What do you mean she's your sign language instructor? Wait, so that's why she was touching your hand? Why didn't you call me sooner? She's about to get arrested. Take her downtown. No, please wait. Stop. I was controlling her officers. She's innocent. Did you finish your chores, darling? Yes. So did I. You know what that means. $20. All right. Your first allowance. We want to teach you to work for your money. Mom? Dad? We wanted to take Bunny to the park for a bit. Sure. Just be careful. We will. Peekaboo. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of fire trucks. I just got 10 million in my bank account. I was just gonna say. Yeah, so did I. We need to go home. Something's wrong. No. What happened? What does it look like? Your house burnt down. But what about our parents? Your parents didn't make it. I'm sorry. Mama. Someone's gonna take you in. Who? A distant relative. Your aunt, Octavia. Hello, children. What a pleasure it is to meet you. Uh, hi? Such a shame what happened. I'm just so glad your money is safe. I mean, you're safe. <laughs> ah. Please, put those down. Chill. I'm not going to use this on you. Wait. Uh, what are you doing? Look, I had to. Just here, take these scissors and come with me. I need to show you something. We can't just leave that girl like that. Yeah, we can. Now, do you see that guy over there? Yeah. He only has one task left. You have to take him out. What? No. You have to. No, I'm not- Hey, sorry to do this to you, but I only got one task left, and it's a really bad one. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. Come on, we should go. I can't believe I just did that. Um, Lauren? Why does my next task say for me to kill somebody, but it's already checked off? I don't think that guy made it. I don't feel so good. Hey, listen, you have to complete everything. What does it say for you to do next? We have to save the girl that you hurt. Look at me. If we're going to go save her, you need this. You came back. Yeah, I'm going to save you, okay? How? The school's on lockdown until someone wins the game. <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. The nurse's office, it has tons of medical supplies. I'm gonna go get some. All right, but like, be careful. I will. I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and luckily for you, I know how to do stitches. Okay, you should be feeling a lot better now. Yeah, thanks. I only have one more left. So do I. What are you doing? You're like not that smart. My last task was to betray someone. That's why you helped me. Wow, look who's catching on. Anyways, sorry about this. No! Wait, 
What do you say we make a deal? I'm listening. My last task is to make sure you don't win the game. So if you drop that weapon right now, I'll win and we can split the cash 50-50. Huh. I mean, I would like to end this craziness. So what do you say? I'll take the deal. Be careful. I don't trust her. Here's your last hundred. Thank you. But I decided I want all the money. Who are those guys? Uh, those are the mark checkers. What? Didn't you read the pamphlet? <gasps> there was a pamphlet? Max, Michaela Brown. That's me. No, 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 wait. I can't let this happen. If they find out that I have a blue mark, they're going to force me into some sort of arranged marriage. And what if the guy's a jerk? I got to get out of here. Crap, the freaking makeup's melting off. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you out here? Hi, um, I was just going over there because they told me that I'm all clear to go. Who told you that? Um, that was Frank. Frank told me that. There's no one named Frank that works here. Damn it, knew I should have went with John. She's a blue. Get her. Hey, you really thought you could cover up your mark with makeup? Well, actually, it was my friend's idea, but... Quiet. That was a rhetorical question. Now, we're going to have to do something so you don't escape again. What is that thing? What is that thing? This is a microchip implant. Hmm? It's only going to take a second. Oh, no. I'm not good with needles, so... You'll be fine. Hold her arm down. No, please. <sighs> there you go. See? All done. You just injected me with... Uh, don't tell me she's going to pass out. Oh, come on. It's time to get up. We need to get you ready for the prince. What? Yes, he's here, and you can't meet him looking like that. Says who? Says anyone with eyes. Now get up. Come on, let's go. All right, she's all done. Good. You know, for someone with a royal status, you guys sure do treat me like crap. Says the girl wearing a diamond necklace. Besides, you're not royalty just yet. Yeah, so if I were you, I would lose the little attitude, okay? Because your mark doesn't become effective till the prince falls in love with you. And what if he doesn't? Hmm, I don't know if I should tell you. We're going to go get the prince, so you better stay put. <laughs> what? No, it's just, it's kind of funny. It's not like I can really get away because, you know, there's a tracker in my wrist. I bet this guy is so stuck up and so conceited. I mean, how dare they, really? Pair me with some... Super hot guy. Hi. <laughs> I'm Justine. You're not quite what I was expecting. Oh, well, um, you aren't exactly what I was expecting either, but, you know, in a good way. <laughs> yeah, same. You know, this whole system is pretty messed up. I know. Tell me about it, right? I mean, do they put a tracker in your wrist, too? Yep, they did. But I have a plan to escape these guys and get both of us our freedom. Hmm, you do. Well, okay. I'm listening. Guys, I have fallen in love with her. Yeah, we're ready to get married. We just have a few minor requests about the wedding. Oh my gosh, of course, princess. Whatever you want. We thought you might say that. How did you get them to leave us alone? I told them I had a little surprise for you. But why would they need to leave us for... Oh, that kind of surprise. <laughs> it's time to take your track route, so hold still. Fine, but from a scale from 1 to 10, how bad is it going <laughs> to... Are you okay? We thought we heard screaming. Yeah, I'm fine. Things were just getting a little rough in here. Oh, <laughs> well, your wedding is ready. Okay. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wait. I, I have a confession to make. I'm, I'm pregnant. And he's not the father. What? I can't believe this. Well, it's too late. We're already married now, which makes me the princess, and what I say goes. And right now, I order all of you to leave us alone. You heard her, guys. Everyone out. I order all of you to leave us alone. You heard her, guys. Everyone out. I can't believe that worked. You did great. Now we just gotta blend in with the crowd. Okay, and then what do we do after that? Then we get the hell out of here, and we enjoy our freedom. Come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Uh, Justine, I'm really sorry about this. What? Hands near now. You're under arrest. You really shouldn't have lied to us. I don't understand. They found out my plan, Justine. It was either me going to prison or you. Mm-hmm. And guess who he chose? I'm sorry. Get on your knees. We need to check you for weapons. Where are we going? We're taking you to stay with the other reject princesses. Other princesses? Yeah, you're not the only one the princess screwed over. Now, come on, let's go. Girls, look, fresh meat. <laughs> Keep walking. Please don't leave me in here. It's not fair. Why does the prince get to go free? He was the one who planned this whole thing. We made a deal with the prince. What can I say? Life isn't fair.
Hello, let me tell you the truth about the prince. So you're telling me the prince has been doing this for years? Yes, they let him trick innocent girls like us, just for fun. But why would they do that? Because they want to stay in power. The whole blue mark is a lie. But why? Because they do not care about us. They are wicked. Why don't we give the new girl a haircut? No, please wait. What if I told you I could help you get revenge on the prince? We've already tried that. There's no way out of here. Well, how did you get those scissors? I found them on the floor when they took me out to use the restroom. They let you out to use the bathroom? Yeah, but they have a guard come with you. I barely snuck these in. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. I think I might have an idea on how to get us out of here, ladies. You sure they don't know you have those scissors? Duh, otherwise they try and take them away. Well then, which one of you guys is the most violent? Definitely Greta. I have lots of pent up anger for the prince. Greta, I think it's time you release that anger. I have to use the bathroom. Oh, I need to go too. No, one person at a time. Oh, but please, I really need to go. Get back. I said no. That was for locking me in this hellhole. Oh, shit. We gotta get out of here now. We made it. We're free. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Well, speak of the devil. Greta, do you still have those scissors? I have them right here. Good. You know what to do with them. What are you talking about? I would start running if I were you. W wait, wait a minute. Ladies, let's get him. I got my mark. Let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? It's blue. Blue? But what is... You have to cover that up. <laughs> But what is it? Cover it up. Okay, okay, jeesh. Do you think this is good enough? I can still kind of see it. No, nah, you're good. No one's going to notice. Okay. Oh my gosh, did you hear? Some people are getting blue marks. Blue? <laughs> Oof, so weird. Um, excuse me? Blue is royalty. Say what now? You didn't know that? Well, I kind of feel sorry for the blue mark people. Wait, why? Well, apparently the guy and the girl have some sort of arranged marriage. <laughs> that is not fair. Oop, it's time for the mark check. Better hope yours appears soon, because here they come. Uh, who's they? Disappear and stay? What does this mean? It's a new form of population control. People can vote for you to disappear or stay. Why do you look worried? Well, Dad, because I haven't exactly been nice to people. Everyone's going to vote for me to disappear. Oh, honey, it's going to be okay. Just try to apologize. Looks like it's finally payback time for you making fun of me all these years. I understand. I'm sorry. Hey, Giselle, remember that time you cut my ponytail off? Jessica, that was in middle school. Can't we just forget about that? Actually, we can't. You never even said you're sorry. I'm sorry. Giselle? Jake, hi. Remember that time you cheated on me? Look, I told you I was sorry. If I could take it back, I would. Well, you can't, so... Hey, um, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... Hey, uh, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... You voted for me to stay. Why? You're always mean to me, but I don't think anyone deserves to disappear. Thank you. I promise I'll try to change. Guys, look at him. He's such a loser. Hey, leave him alone. Look who's talking. You're a big bully yourself. Yeah, well, I'm trying to change. <laughs> you could never change. Shit, I forgot my pen. Hey, you could borrow mine. Wait, really? Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. I think it'll be better for you to just disappear. Mom, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. And I think it'll be better if you just disappear. Mom, no, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. What's going on here? Dad! Mom voted for me to disappear. Is this true? Yes, she's just a waste of space. You know what, Giselle, just come with me. Dad, what's going on? It's time I tell you the truth. She's not your real mom. Are you serious? Yes, I'm sorry. I never knew she would treat you like this. You lied to me my whole life. 
I only need one more vote to disappear, so I'm gonna go find someone to give me that. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. No, I said vote for me to disappear, not stay. But I did vote for you to disappear. <sighs> what? You must be the one. The one? What do you mean, the one? I can't tell you here. Come with me. Can we stop running and you just tell me what's going on? There's a rumor that there's a person that's unable to disappear no matter how many votes they get. And I think it's you. <laughs> me? Why would it be me? Because when I voted for you to disappear, it went to stay. People are going to come looking for you. You guys, there they are. They found us. We have to go. Okay, I think we're safe here. What are we going to do? I haven't been completely honest with you. There isn't only one person unable to disappear. There's two, and I'm one of them. So you're one too? Yes, and here's what we need to do. So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl, any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on, let's get to class. Oh, look, it's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... I can finally speak. Morning, honey. Good morning, Mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm going to get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please, I can explain. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss.
It's okay, at least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl, any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on, let's get to class. Oh, look, it's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... I can finally speak. Morning, honey. Good morning, mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm gonna get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please, I can explain. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay, at least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. Hey, how many years did I get? You, you got infinity. Gamey! No, honey, that's not good. You're going to live long after everyone you know and love is gone. Hey, Brianna, something came in the mail for you. What's the letter for? Anything interesting? It's a invitation to another funeral. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm used to it by now. Now, what is a lovely lady like you doing sitting here all by herself? I'm just waiting for the bus. How about I take you out on a date? What do you think? I don't date. I don't get attached to anyone nowadays, actually. All right, suit yourself. Have a lovely day. Wait. That mark on your neck. It's the same as mine. That mark on your neck. It's the same as mine. So now you're interested in a date. I 
finally have someone to keep me company for all eternity. You'll never have to be lonely again. Ha 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 ha! Who's that? Oh no, that's the local years thief. She steals people's years. She can do that? She can. She's a witch. Run! I think we lost her. We should be safe here. <laughs> no! How could you? He's all I had. <laughs> Wait, don't go. Take my years. I don't want to live anymore. Mom, what's on my face? Oh no, you got an X. You need to cover it and put a check mark right away or else they're going to get you. Who? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You got a check mark. I've located an X. Please don't do this. <coughs> Everyone report immediately for your symbol check. So, what happens if you have an X? Those with X's are eliminated to stop overpopulation. You're only safe if you have a check mark. Next, please. I'm next. Don't worry. You have a check mark. You'll be fine. You're good. Next. I said next. Are you crazy? What are you doing here? Why would you go online knowing you have an X? I thought maybe I wouldn't get caught. Of course you would get caught. Who are you? You have an X too? So where are you taking me? This is the X's hiding spot. I made it my personal duty to protect all X's. Wow, you're pretty heroic. Excuse me, miss. May I sit here? Yes, of course you can. Why would she have an X? She's just a baby. The X's were given at random. No reason and no sympathy. Oh no, they found us. We have to leave immediately. Hey, ugly. Excuse me? Why would you say that? I'm sorry. It was for a task. I'm in the 90s now. I thought so. Good luck. I hear the last 10 tasks are impossible. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> did you hear what Tom did? What? No. His 95th task was to stab someone, and they ended up in the hospital severely injured. The whole school's in the 90s now. It's about to get very dangerous here. It's really dangerous here. Let's go somewhere private and talk. Yeah, sure. No one's around. I think we'll be safe here. Yeah. So, what did you need to talk about? I'm so sorry I have to do this. What are you doing? I have to do this. I have to kill you. I only have two tasks left. That money is mine. No! I'm so sorry. I'll call you an ambulance. I'm not going anywhere until I finish my task. Well, I've made it this far. I might as well be the one to finish all these tasks. All right, everyone, choose carefully between the blue or the red pill. Mine has a third option. It says green. That's so strange. I'm going to choose it. It could be something amazing. Oh, Brianna, look, I can fly. Whoa. What special ability did you get? I don't know. Nothing's happened yet. I probably don't even have ability. I knew I shouldn't have chose that green one. Don't look now. Your crush Kevin is coming this way. Hi, Kevin! Kevin! Oh no, he's not breathing. Emily, what is going on? Emily! What happened here? I'll go get the nurse. Don't you understand, Brittany? They're gone! Brittany! What is going on? Wait a minute. It's me. I did this. Every time I said their name, they they stopped breathing. What happened here? Uh, I, I don't know. Everybody just all of a sudden collapsed. Quickly, come with me. We need to figure out what's going on. Hello, I'm Officer Brad. Hello, Officer. I like to make this a comfortable environment. Don't worry, you can address me by my name. No. Don't be disrespectful. Say my name. It's rude not to do what a police officer says. Say it. Brad? I can't believe what happened to Officer Brad. He dropped, just like the others. I know, it's crazy. I found something strange on the security footage. Will you come have a look at it with me? Yeah, of course. There must be some kind of pattern. It looks like everybody dropped right after you said their name. Have you shown anybody else's footage? No, I just discovered it. You deleted everything! That's all I need. Goodbye, Susan. 
The teacher, she fell to the floor. I know, I don't know what happened. She's not breathing. You did something. You said goodbye and then she dropped. How did you know she would do that? You talk too much, Gary. Attention everyone. In order to keep all of our students safe, school will be cancelled until this situation is resolved. Thank you for your patience. Yay, no school! I hope this case never gets resolved. It's so weird what happened. They just stopped breathing for literally no reason. Look, it's her. She was there for the whole thing. She saw everything that happened. Yeah, and it was absolutely traumatizing. I'll need at least a week to recover. There's no way. You're definitely involved in this somehow. Yeah, she's right. How come you're the only one who's safe? You guys really need to know when to stop talking. Cynthia. No, no, please, I'm sorry. Jennifer. What? I only have one day left? Look who's 18 now. How much time did you get? One day. Here, I got 99 years. I'll give you some of my time. Thanks, but it doesn't really matter. My time's gonna run out sooner or later anyways. Hey, let's go to that coffee shop you love so much. It will cheer you up for sure. Good idea. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. Why do you look so sad? Oh, you know, it's nothing. It's just that my time left is only one week, so. I wish I only had a week left. I got infinite time. I've already lived hundreds of years. Infinite time? That's not even possible. Where did she go? What did I miss? A strange lady just approached me telling me she has infinite time and that she wishes she only had a week left. Infinite time is impossible. No way. She gave me her infinite time. I I have to find her. Wait. Where did she go? She couldn't have gone that far. Brianna, don't you understand? She gave you all her time, meaning she's gone for good. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to give you at least a couple hundred years, you know, so I'm not so lonely, living for all eternity. Error. Error. It won't let me. Either I give you my infinite years or nothing. I'm going to be all alone. <laughs> Why are you crying? Are you okay? My time left is only two days. It's going to be okay. You're not going anywhere. No, you don't understand. It's over for me. I've already been lent so much time. What are you doing? Goodbye. Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay? Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year, you have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday! Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa, what is this? Happy 18th birthday. You can open it now. Grandpa, what is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911. It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can. Just sit tight. Excuse me, miss. Are you Giselle? Hi. Um, yes, my grandpa. Is he going to be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. Thanks. At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. What? It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number.
A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you going to call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's going to pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. You know what? I think I'm going to call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone. Okay. The person gave me an address. Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. What's this? Oh, that's the percentage of how much someone loves you. Wait, so you love me 100%? Of course I do, honey. You're my daughter. Hey, bestie. Hey, Jess. You only love me 10%? You're supposed to be my best friend. What do you mean? Of course I love you more than that. I can't believe you. Hey, babe. Hey, Jake. Gee, if your love for me is that low, why are you dating me? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even care. It's over. There you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. That's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. Giselle, there you are. Can we talk? <laughs> Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. It's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. You're making that up. My mom would never lie to me. No, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, look, I don't understand. Why would she lie? I have no idea, but I promise you I was telling the truth. <sighs> I'm gonna go talk to her. I'll call you later. Mom? Honey, you're home. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes, of course. About what? Is it true that you lied to me about the percentage? No, I would never lie to you. So you're telling me that that is not a hate percentage, that's a love percentage? Okay, yes. I lied to you. Why would you lie to me? I broke up with my boyfriend and I almost lost my best friend. Well, why do you think mine is on 100%? Your Majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign begging for more words. What a pity. A wordless beggar. Feed him to the dogs. <laughs> Your Majesty, please help my family. You only had six words left and you wasted them on me. How pathetic. Your Majesty, you have infinity words and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words and you'd still have infinity. And why would I do that? I run a palace, not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. <laughs> Guards, a witch stole my words. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I cannot. Hello, Queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen, and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, Your Majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately? I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word thief. Don't worry, I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl? She's safe, and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, your majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. <laughs> Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. Hello, darling. This is for you. In infinity words? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. You're trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Her Majesty. 
Look, I'll give you words, as many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. Take this. Your crown? Take over as queen. Okay, class, did everyone receive their intelligence score? No way, she got a zero. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to work really hard and prove everyone wrong. Good morning, Donna. Here's your coffee. Thank you. How did she become a CEO when she has an intelligence score of zero? Catherine? Uh, yes, boss? You'll be in charge of coffee runs today. No way, seriously? Seriously. Come in. Hey, I was just thinking it'd be a better image for the company if you put your intelligence score to private. We wouldn't want people thinking an idiot runs this company, right? Let them think what they want to think. I know, but... You may be excused. All right, everyone. Let's begin the meeting. It's so cool to have a CEO with an intelligence score of 100. What? I can't believe you have an intelligence score of 100. You are so cool. Look at this article. You're getting praised everywhere. You're the first person in the world to reach an intelligence score of 100. So now, because I have an intelligence score of 100, everyone all of a sudden respects me? Good morning, everyone. I'd like you all to meet our new hires. Are you serious? These are the new hires? Their intelligence scores are extremely low. Hey, boss, why did you hire a bunch of new staff that are, well, to put it lightly, dimwits? Have you spoken to any of them? No. Well, then I would like to ask you to speak with one of them, and I can assure you the staff I hire are very intellectual. <laughs> Oh my. Woo, party! Boss, all these dimwits you hired through a party and they're destroying the office. Ooh, this is so pretty. No, don't! What have I done? Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him. But definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow. That was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must. I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. <gasps> Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. My corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. <laughs> I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who- Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I- Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. 
You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel, someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No! Oh my gosh, no! Don't touch her! <coughs> mom, the baby's crying. <coughs> I think she's in the shower. It's okay, it's okay. Peekaboo! <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom! <gasps> oh my gosh! I was just- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her to me! How dare you disobey me! I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just... I was feeling sad and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave this to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No! I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please, I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If, if I do that, then can I stay? Huh, okay. As long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I can have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby. You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to, but if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they... Well, kid, it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition, and your father, he... He didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. Be careful with her. We will, kid. 
Mom. I... Come here. I'm so sorry that my real daughter is going to be stuck with you. Ow. I should have never adopted you. Doctor. We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. You and your sister are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah, we've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Ah, oh, kid, come here. Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Polo? Marco? Safe. Emily! I'm so glad I found you, sissy. I was so scared. It was so dark. Marco! Polo! <laughs> you actually fell for it. Bestie, don't scare me like that. Chill, I was just joking. It's serious. My little sister Emily was chosen to play the game this morning. She almost didn't find me in time. <laughs> What's wrong with Cynthia? Her boyfriend died during the game of Marco Polo. He wasn't able to find her in time. That's awful. Everything's dark. Oh no. Marco? Everything's dark. Oh no. Marco? Polo! Marco! Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Thank goodness you found me. I'm so glad you weren't far. Choose who will play. They're making me choose? Well, I can't choose my mother. Marco? Polo! Marco! Polo! Polo? Polo! Bestie, why can't I hear you? Polo! Marco! Oh. Failure. <laughs> choose. You're making me choose again. Oh. You're up early. Unfortunately. Honey, I need a favor. Kit. What the? You drive your sister to school to. Day. Hey, when did you change your clothes? Get back here! This is a robbery! What? First thing in the morning? Give me your car keys now! <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh! Uh Brianna, you're late. You'll only have 10 minutes left to write the test. Don't worry. Just hand me the test. I got this. Come on, we've been paused long enough. Can you press play now? Come on, we've been paused long enough. Can you press play now? How are you not paused but everybody else is? I don't know why, but I have the same ability as you. I can pause time. You must be the chosen ones. I'm sorry, but this is real life, not Star Wars. Wait a minute. So if you press pause, it stops time not only for you, but for me too? This restaurant you brought me is amazing. You know I know how to treat a lady. Let's kiss. Why aren't you breathing? James! Okay, I can't wait any longer. I'm leaving. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, what? Well, I just think you're super fine and... Brianna, hurry up and unpause it before I lose my riz. Um, I'm not paused. What? Someone's calling on the telephone. Hurry up and answer it. They're going to give you a word and you must pass it on to the next person. The first person who says the word incorrectly dies. Your word is cookie. Huh? Say that again? They only tell you the word once. Now hurry, pass it on to me. Cookie. Come here, Timmy. Cookie. I know the word. It's Wookie. Timmy! Hey, Brianna, can you come here for a second? Okay. Get in. I'm sorry, I got chosen to play telephone. Hey, Stephanie? What's up? I have to pass on a word to you. Kitten. That's an easy word. Kevin, come here. Britain. No! Oh, no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Onomatopoeia. Huh? Oh, no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Onomatopoeia. Huh? Brianna, hurry, pass on the word. This word is really hard. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Pass on your word. Now. 
Come on, Brianna. It can't be that bad. What? What did you say? Is that even a word? I know it's a hard word, Bestie, but you have to try your best. I don't want to lose you. Kevin, come here. Automatopia. What the? Jake, come here. Automatopia. No, Kevin. Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair. Hurry. Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair. Hurry. Answer now or die. Your word? Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Anti... Anti... Dis... Dis... Disestablished men. Pass on your word. Give me a minute! Brianna, hurry, pass the word on to me. I can't. It's too hard. Teacher? Teacher, I have to pass a word on to you. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Easy word. You know I'm an English teacher, right? Jake, come here. Anti-disestablishment. <laughs> I'm getting a call. What the? Where am I? Am I dead? You're not dead. You're an afterlife sorter. Afterlife sorter? Who decided this? Jesus. <laughs> My childhood dog Biscuit. <laughs> you are such a good boy. Wow, you look good. Jason, remember when you cheated on me with like 10 different girls? That was a long time ago. I'm a changed man. Go to hell. No! Hey, girl! Bestie, what are you doing here? I was dancing on top of a building and then I tripped. Classic bestie. Ooh, 70%. What? Nothing. Go to heaven, girl. Huh? Myself? Well, obviously. Obviously. Why is it not working? Baby, they're watching. Hurry up. Smile. Baby, smile. We've got a code red. Okay, okay, I'm smiling, I'm smiling! Your smile's looking a little low today. Yeah, it is. We're going to have to use the clothing pins again. You need a much wider smile than that. Hey, Bree. Hey, Bestie, your smile's looking a little low. Here, try these clothing pins. It's a trick my mom taught me. You put it right here. What's even the point anymore? Bessie, you need to smile. I can't lose you, too. We've got a code red. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. My boyfriend, my best friend, my five-year-old sister. Your mother would be very upset you're acting this way. Mother. Yeah, the creator of the Smiling Law. She told us to show no mercy to her children, but I figured she'd be upset if both her daughters were gone. Mother. Where's your smile? You're the creator of the Smiling Law. Is that a problem, honey? Think of all the people that died because of you. Little sister, she was only five years old. And she didn't obey the law, and neither did you. Where are the police? You're a monster. Looks like I'm going to have to get rid of you myself. Come on, honey. You've already lost everyone. You really want to lose your mother, too? You're the only one I wanted to lose. So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you to? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? 
I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in. Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on. I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No. Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? A lot of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my Amber Alert? Missing girl from 2018 shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you? Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I can never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're going to take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're gonna... No. No help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm... I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll... Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please. Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to... Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Mr. Paca got what he deserved.